All right, welcome back to Site Tech Intermountain Earthworks training videos. Uh, Earthworks excavator with laser catcher. So I got my laser set up here. In this training video, we're going to show you how to dig a slope with your excavator with the laser catcher that's going to progressively go a little deeper here. So I've got a starting point right here, and I've got an alignment for my pipe um, because we're not running 3D, so I don't have actual line work, but I know this is where I'm going to dig. And I've got to cut it at a 2% progressively getting deeper and deeper. What you've got to do is have a sloping laser, one that has this Y axis on the side and the X axis here. What we're going to do is turn the laser on and we're going to give it a percentage, a slope. We're going to put it at a 2%. So we'll drop this to a 2 right there. And then we're going to hit enter. So it stops spinning, which means it's resetting itself. I'm not giving it an X side to side, but once again, if you're setting up a laser, know that the Y axis is the one I needed to change. So now that it resets itself, it's going to go ahead and start spinning. So now we're going to go to the excavator, and what we've got to do is actually set the excavator at a 2% also. We are going to bench out on this rock over here that I have set as an elevation. I know that's my starting point. Um, my top then I'll bench down from there but what happens is if you leave the excavator in here in zero on the percentage on the slope here it's going to staircase every time you actually go ahead and re-reference the laser okay so now that we're in the excavator on the screen here you'll see at the top here on the top left you've got level and level but the level is for main fall looking at the bucket sideways and looking at the bucket as if it's um, a cross section inside, left and right. What you want to do is set this level right here for the main fall at 2% to match the laser. If we don't do that, then every time I re-reference the laser as I move the machine back, it's actually going to staircase and reset. So right off the bat, I'm going to move forward to where I know I'm going to start digging. I'm going to go ahead and reference my rock here as a zero elevation as my zero. So I'm going to bench zero on that one more time. Done that. Now what I want to do is catch the laser before I move the undercarriage. You heard that beep. I went through it a little bit too fast. So we'll come back up. Auto strike accepted. Now I'm good to go, but I need to go ahead and change this to a 2% to match the laser. And this plus and minus right here changes it positive or negative based on if it's coming underneath me or not. So this will actually be a positive to push it up in front of me because I'm digging 2% down underneath me. So I can change my screens here if I want. I can change that one at the bottom, or I can change the top one here to maybe a side uh, profile, just to kind of show you that it's coming down. Now I can reach out here, but there's one more thing I got to do is I need to put in my vertical offset. So I'm going to put in my vertical offset and say that I need to dig this one three feet minus below that elevation. Not very much, not a very deep dig, but we'll go ahead and get started. Body is rocking, so now that I've re-put some material on the front of it, I'm going to re-reference that laser. Now that I've established grade on my first pass here, you can see as I go back down in there, I hit about zero there. We'll just clean up my teeth marks here. We'll stop back here. 
it's hard to actually look at the numbers as the mach machine's moving because they're always trying to catch up. So what I'm going to do now that I've established that is I'm going to spin back this way and center over my uh, pipe line there. But now that I've done that, I have to re-reference that laser strike. So now that I've moved the undercarriage, let's go ahead and hit the laser again. Okay, now that I've verified grade is good, we're going to go ahead and just keep digging this trench out. We'll go ahead and check grade. Just a hair low, just about a tenth, no big deal. I think we're good on that pass. We're gonna spin around, line up with the paint marks. Now that I've moved the undercarriage, we're gonna go ahead and just re-reference the laser. Auto strike accepted. Let's go ahead and reach back out there and check something I've already done. Boom, fill of a tenth, same thing that I had earlier. So let's continue to dig some more out here. Again, grade there. Just a little bit low there, no big deal. So let's go ahead and spin back around. If you need to do any leveling up on your tracks before you bench, which is or restrike, which is a good thing, you need to catch a little bit, do that. Go ahead and re-grab re the laser. Grabbed it again. Let's uh, check one more time just so you can see out there. Reach out where I already had it. Fill of a tenth, we're good to go. So let's take one more here just to keep showing you and then we'll grab the grade rod. Grab the grade rod just to kind of give us the warm and fuzzies that it is actually doing it right. Everything right now I'm just doing straight off of just kind of trusting the machine and the laser. So we'll clean the edge of this trench up. Now we'll go grab the grade rod. Okay, now that I've dug this trench in, I just want to verify that it is on a 2%. So I'm going to go ahead and just use my traditional laser pole here. I'm going to set right up off of this elevation again and zero out, which I have already done. So we've got a clear tone. Now we're going to go ahead and add three feet to this pole real quick. So now I've added three feet to this pole. Let's go ahead and come in here to the beginning. We'll set down in the corner right here. Looks like I'm just a hair low. If I raise it up to zero, I'm only floating just barely about a half an inch. So let's go ahead and check a couple more spots. Same thing, just a hair low. Zero there is just about a tenth above the ground. And we'll come down to the very end here. Let me climb out of the trench so we can see the numbers. We'll go ahead and just set down right there. Looks like we're just a hair low again. Same thing, if I raise up till zero, we're about right there, just touching that little window right there. So, laser on a 2%. Put the machine inside on a 2% and that's how you use the laser catcher as long as you keep referencing every time you move the undercarriage. So hopefully this helps with uh, using the lasers and putting those on slopes. Uh, well, thank you for watching this video from Sight Taking or Mountain Earthworks training videos.